Hello friends, Miss Natalie here. Today I want to show you how to make a collage for the Surrealist collage assignment using Krita. I'm going to start by opening a new image. Uh, 2000 uh, by 2000 pixels is roughly in inches, six and a half by six and a half, a little over six and a half, 6.67. So we're going to go ahead and use that. That's a good uh, size. And uh, there's my canvas. So before I started this assignment, I decided on what I wanted to use in my collage. So I went out and I googled all of the different images that I would want to use for my collage. And I saved them each in a different tab so I could come back and grab them. For my background, for my first layer, of my collage. I like this orange sky. Orange and warm colors is my color scheme. So I'm going to copy that image. Then I am going to pop back over to Krita, click somewhere on the black part to select Krita. And then I'm going to hit Control V uh, to paste. I'm going to download it from the remote source. And yes, and that'll put that image in my collage. Now it's really small, so I want to make it bigger. So I'm going to go over to this tool that has a basically a square with a dot inside of it. And I am going to use these uh, squares. I can pull it to make it as lo uh, long as I need to, and I can pull the tops to make it as tall as it needs to be. And that that works. I think that's good. I might adjust it later. I might not. We'll just leave it here for now. There we go. All right, so now I'm going to grab my next layer object for my collage. Remember, collage is just basically layering objects uh, not but in 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 uh with physical it would be two dimensional objects here it is virtual objects the next thing i want is some orange butterfly wings yes going with my color scheme so i'm going to right click on the image choose copy image and then go back to krita and click somewhere on the black part and hit control v and download, okay, yes. Same process as I did before. Ah, now I have my next layer, which is the butterfly wings. And you can say, but Miss L, you can't see through the white background. And that's right, but I have this awesome tool right over here that looks like a magic wand. It's called the continu Contiguous Selection Tool. I can click on that, I can click on the white, and it will select everything that is white. Um, it's like all of that white background. And if I hit delete, it gets rid of it. Now I need to unselect this now so I can add some more layers. So to unselect, I can go to the select tab up here and deselect. I can also hit control shift A. So I'm just going to leave that for now. I'm just going to gather all of the rest of my layers and then I will arrange them. Because first you plan, then you gather, then you arrange. So back to Google to see the other images that I planned to use. I've got a black kitten, this black kitten right here. So I'm going to hit uh, right click and copy image. Pop back over to Krita and click on the black and control V to paste it. Download, yes, yes. And I've got my kitten and I'm going to actually make it a little bigger so that it's easier to, uh, uh, when if I don't want my image to change uh, sizes, I can hit shift or not change sizes, but change proportion. I can keep the proportion the way it is by hitting shift. And now I'm going to click that magic wand, uh, shift while I make it bigger and delete. And there's a little white left, but I'm not going to use the whole kitten. So that's fine for me. 
and then I can hit control shift a and that gets rid of my selection and I'm ready to go back to uh, Google and find my next element, which is fire. And right click to copy the image back to Krita to paste the image by clicking on the black and control V. Click the download. I think you can kind of understand what I'm doing so far. Click the background. Hit control. Uh, no, not control. Hit delete to delete the background. And then go control shift A to get rid of the um, whatever. And then we are going to go back to the selection. That's what the whatever was. We're going to go back to Google for our last element, not element, our last image, which is a cartoon airplane. I have this idea of this kitten uh, with flames coming out of its paws trying to capture airplanes. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to copy the image. Go back to Krita and click on the black and hit control V. Once more, download. Okay. And yes. All right. And we're going to hit the uh, good old magic wand. And we do have this little easy drawing guides that we can then just hit control shift A to get rid of the selection. And now I can take the uh, drawing tool, which looks like a paintbrush, and click on the eraser here, and I can just erase that. All right, and I zoomed in um, with my mouse wheel. You can also use the, the zoom tool right here. That lets you zoom in, and if you hit uh, minus, you zoom out. But anyway, okay, so that's what I have. So now it's going to be time to arrange these pieces. Um, the one good thing about a digital collage is I can make things different sizes if I want. Okay, so you may notice over here in the layer uh, uh, viewer, I have all of these different elements in different layers. So if I want to do something, say elements, all of these different uh, objects. We're going to call them objects in different layers. So I'm going to start with the kitten. So here's the kitten layer. And I am going to use that uh, square with a dot in it. And I'm going to move the kitten down. So I want the kitten to kind of just be visible there. But then I want the kitten to be big. And I want it to still be in realistic proportions for a kitten, but unrealistic for the, the world. So I'm going to hit shift and then I'm going to grab that corner and make this kitten big and I'm going to move it back down. And I think I might also hover over the corner so that I see the circular arrows so I can kind of twirl the arrows a little bit, move the kitten here. Uh, is that good? I think that's good. I kind of like that. All right. So now I'm going to go to the um, I'm going to go to the uh, fire and just move that out of the way. I'm going to go to the airplane layer and move that out of the way. Sometimes you just need things out of the way. And then I'm going to go down to the butterfly wings layer. And I am going to, again, hit shift because I want to keep those wings in proportion to themselves, even though they're completely out of proportion to the rest of the, uh, you know, the airplane, for example, and the sky. And I um, hmm, feel like, yeah, I think the kitten needs to be a go back to the kitten layer. Move the kitten a little bit more. There we go. Perfect. All right. Now for the fire. And I want, um, hmm, just notice this fire has some, well, we'll, we'll work with it. It's okay. Um, I am going to, I want at least two different 
I think I want definitely two, maybe even three of these. So I'm going to copy them by hitting control C to copy and then paste control V to paste. Now it looks like it didn't do anything, but I can now click and move this section and I can control C to copy, control V to paste, and I can click and move that section. If I'm moving something, I'm clicking and I'm holding my mouse down. All right, and I actually want this to be more narrow, so I'm gonna grab the edge and kind of squish it together. And do I want it to be coming directly out of the paw? Yeah, actually, I think that one I do want to be coming directly out of the paw. All right, and you can see that these are all now in different layers too. So this would be my uh, on different layer and I am going to rotate that and then also like super squish it. Okay, so the kitten has flames coming out of its head and the text actually blends in fairly well. So that's, that's nice. I think actually I don't want this last one. So I'm gonna click on it and um, I am going to, well, two things I can do. I can just click on the image and delete. And if I want to delete the whole layer, I can uh, right click on the layer and remove that. And that removes the layer. Okay, now let's look at these airplanes. I want to do the same thing with the airplane, airplane that I did with the fire. I want to make like two or three maybe, so that it looks like it, they're dive bombing the kitten and the kitten is trying to grab them. So I'm gonna hit Control C. I've clicked on the layer for the, uh, the airplane. So Control C to copy and Control V to paste. And I'm gonna move that over here. Control C to copy, Control V to paste. And now I have three different airplane layers and I wanna make, um, this one, actually, let's see, my first airplane layer, which would be this one, the first one I did, is actually pretty good. I might make it a little smaller, but and I want it to still be in airplane proportion, so I'm going to hit shift while I pull on that corner to make it just smaller in general, move it over. Um, this one, I kind of want to look like it's in the flames so let's see this would be the top one because nope it's the bottom one or the middle one rather okay so sometimes it's hard to tell what layer is, is what and i think i'm also going to make this a little bit smaller hit shift and just a tiny bit smaller and then i'm going to rotate it actually i think i might make it even smaller so shift there we go. All right. And then I might want to, I'm going to see if I want to pick this layer up and put it behind the flames. Yeah. So it looks like it's like running into the flames. That's the nice thing you can do. We're adjusting, we're moving things around. Um, okay. Um, you can pick up an image from a layer, just click on it and drag it to where you want and then release. So yeah. Okay. So the last thing I want to do is this, this, this airplane, I want to make it a little smaller shift and then I'm going to rotate it like, like it got, or it's already been hit by the flame and it's like falling away now. Maybe make it a tiny bit smaller. I think I'm going to do uh, one last thing. Where's that other airplane? This airplane is this one. I'm going to make another copy paste. That's control C, control V. Um, I'm going to make this one. I'm going to make these ones kind of dive bombing, I think. Let's see. So I got to grab this one. I kind of like the idea that they're just coming in, move them. So the comp, I like the composition better. Uh, Got to make sure that I select the image that I want to move in the layer before I move it. All right. And then maybe just a, this one a little bit smaller. Okay. Actually, and finally, 
this one here. I think it's too small, but I might just kind of make it on my own. But I, I like that. Um, maybe rotate it just a tiny bit more. And I think I might actually even want to put the flame in front of it. What do we think about that? How would that work? We pick up this flame and we move it to the top. We move the airplane kind of in so it's even behind the flame. And let's let's take a look at this. I'm going to, uh, yeah, I think I like this. I like this. So I'm going to save it. I'm going to go to File, uh, Save As, and I am going to choose Kitten. Choose where you want to keep it. Um, I'm keeping mine in teacher's examples. You, you can just put yours on the desktop, though, because that's an easy way to find it. Kitten on uh, O Fire. Kitten O Fire. And I don't want to save it as a Krita document because you can't upload those to Canvas. So I'm going to click here and hit J, and that'll find the JPEG. I want to save it as a JPEG image not a JPEG XL image. Those won't upload to Canvas either. JPEG image, and then I'm going to click Save, and I'm going to hit OK. And now I've saved it, and I can upload it to the Surrealist Collage assignment. If you have any questions, you know how to reach me. So go out and make your collage.